What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Because I am such a huge fan of the Transformer movies, today I decided to go ahead and rank them all. Let's get right into this. So for this video, I'm only going to be ranking from 2007 up until 2018, and I'm not going to be ranking anything from the 80s that was animated, it's just the live action stuff. So up first, the first Transformers movie came out in 2007, and it featured Shia LaBeouf, Tyrese Gibson, and Megan Fox. In this movie, we get to see the Autobots and Decepticons for the first time on the big screen, which was epic. The Autobots need to find the Allspark to rebuild Cybertron and end the war with the Decepticons. But the Decepticons want the Allspark to build an army here on Earth with our electronics and vehicles. Shia LaBeouf's character gets tied into the war between the Autobots and Decepticons because his character Sam, his grandfather, found a Decepticon buried in the Arctic during an exploration and all of the details on the Allspark were transferred onto his glasses, and later it revealed a map as to where the Allspark was going to be. This movie being the first time that the Transformers were on the big screen, that it was so much action to meet everybody and see all the characters for the first time was epic, and Sam's parents had a comedic value to the whole movie, and there was some funny moments, and I absolutely love that in action movies, so I'm going to rank this first movie pretty high. I'm going to rank it 9 out of 10. Next is going to be Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. It came out in 2009, and it continues the war between the Autobots and Decepticons, and Sam is being hunted by these Decepticons by the orders of the Fallen, because in his mind it's encrypted that he has some information that they could use to help not only find fragments of the Allspark, but also to help them win the war. And the Decepticons at the end of the day are trying to destroy the Sun and Earth. This movie here has a lot of action, we get to see Sam back in the movie as well, which was awesome because he is a great character. I'm going to rank it pretty decent. I'm going to rank it 8 out of 10. Next is going to be Transformers The Dark of the Moon. It came out in 2011. And this is actually the first movie for the Transformers that did not feature Megan Fox. I think there was something with her contract at the time that they decided to recast somebody else as the girlfriend for Sam. Now, it's played off as if they just split up and this is her new girlfriend or they introduce her, but I'm pretty sure it was something with the contract at the time with Megan Fox. In this movie, it follows the Autobots and Decepticons on the last day of the war, and the Sentinel was found on the moon with five pillars. The Sentinel is a legendary Transformer, but it's later turned out that he turns on the Autobots. He was originally an Autobot, and he starts, as soon as he's discovered and brought back to life, he actually tricks the Autobots and he starts helping the Decepticons. The movie is pretty epic. It includes a lot of the original cast from the first two movies. There's a lot of action there. I'm going to rank it pretty good. I'm going to rank it 7 out of 10. The next movie is Transformers Age of Distinction. This one came out in 2014, and it includes Mark Wahlberg and a whole new cast. In this movie here, the... Humans view the Autobots as a threat. The humans therefore hire a bounty hunter that is basically a Transformer, but he's neutral. He's not an Autobot or a Decepticon. Basically, they hire him to exterminate all of the remaining Autobots here on Earth. As a result, the Autobots go into hiding, but Optimus Prime ends up being found and fixed. And then the authorities come for him and the remaining Autobots. This movie has a lot of action. Basically, they find the trust in Mark Wahlberg's character and they start trusting certain humans once again to help them remain alive and to not be exterminated. I'm going to rank this one pretty good because I love the action and I absolutely love Mark Wahlberg in these movies. I'm going to rank it 7.5 out of 10. The next movie is going to be Transformers The Last Night. It came out in 2017, and this movie actually includes some of the cast from the first three Transformers movies, some of the original cast, which was epic, but it's mostly some of the military personnel and also the first uh, FBI agent that was in the first movie, so that was pretty awesome to see. In this movie, Optimus Prime is being brainwashed, 
and he heads to Earth to find an ancient shaft that can help the Decepticons win. In this movie here, Bumblebee and the Autobots race to find it while escaping anti-transformer force here on Earth. The action is amazing. It does include some of the original cast, so I'm going to rank it a little bit higher than the last two. I'm going to rank it 8 out of 10. And the last movie for the Transformers franchise is Bumblebee. Bumblebee came out in 2018, a year after the previous one, and it continues after the Civil War. Optimus Prime sends Bumblebee to Earth to form a base. Bumblebee ends up being found in a junkyard by an 18 year old girl and is awakened and repaired, kind of like Optimus Prime was in a previous movie, which I was not a fan that they kind of renewed something that the Transformers already did in a movie. And she tries to help him run from two hunters and the authorities here on Earth. So there's two kind of like Decepticons that are here to hunt Bumblebee. But also the fact that the story, for me at least, watching it and being a fan of the Transformers, the story for this movie was, in my opinion, not the greatest. The cast did include John Cena, but his on-screen time didn't amount to much, and his character just didn't accomplish too much. He wasn't seen that much. So to me, this movie here, for John Cena being in it, it was mainly just to sell tickets and sell copies of the movie. That was mainly the only thing I've seen with John Cena. He didn't have that big of a role. So for this movie here being the last Transformers movie ever to come out, I'm going to rank it 7.5 out of 10. So now I just want to mention that Bumblebee, apparently according to the studio, is going to be the last Transformers movie. They were supposed to have a Transformers movie coming out in 2017, and they did. One in 2018, which was Bumblebee, which they did. And then there was supposed to be another one in 2019, but they decided to pull the plug before even making that movie. They plan on not making any more Transformers movies. They just don't want to anymore. They don't see a profit behind it, and they don't see a purpose behind it. And for me, with Bumblebee trying to go back and doing something that happened to Opti Optimus Prime in the movie franchise already, and seeing that, and seeing that Bumblebee was not up to par to previous Transformers movies, at least for me, I kind of agree with that statement. I kind of wish that they were to do something else with the Transformers, and maybe make them a new way, or try to restart the franchise like they did with other franchises before, like Ghostbusters, Jurassic Park. So maybe in a few years we'll see another reboot, but for now, there's not going to be any more Transformers. I also read back whenever they were trying to do the G.I. Joe franchise, there was supposed to be a G.I. Joe and Transformers crossover. However, because Transformers got pulled, for the, the plug for them got pulled, that there's not going to be a G.I. Joe and Transformers crossover movie, which I am very disappointed once I read that that was something that they wanted for a long time. Now that Transformers is no more, they're not going to be able to do that, which for me absolutely sucks because I would absolutely love that movie. But for now, ranking all of these movies here, I absolutely loved doing this. I loved the Transformers. I loved all of the movies with Bumblebee as an exception because I honestly didn't really care for it. The story was there. There was some comedic value there, but it just wasn't up to par with the previous Transformer movies in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me ranking all the Transformer live action movies. I didn't want to do anything from the 80s or any of the animated stuff because I was not a fan of it back then. I never watched any of that, so I did not want to include it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.